Hey everyone, how's it going? Oh my goodness, did you guys just see that turkey in my backyard? That was absolutely crazy. Anyways, so it's been a long time since I've talked about my skincare and just uploading videos in general, but um, I thought that I'd give you guys a quick update on a simple and quick skincare feed. Alright, so here goes. Um, firstly, I have been using the Antipodes range. I've been loving their masks and exfoliator. I've done a review on these on my blog, so if you guys want to check it out, feel free to do so. Um, I've been absolutely loving this. This to get rid of any dead skin cells to prep you for, you know, your creams or just before foundation. I've been using BB cream this past few months, so I haven't really had the need to put on foundation. This Aura Manuka Honey Mask has been absolutely amazing when my skin has been breaking out because I had been very, very stressed with work. So, um, last month I've been using this quite a bit. Um, it's a perfect mask which contains Manuka Honey, which is an amazing ingredient, and it's been a key ingredient in half the skincare that I have, um, down here, which I'll be talking about. So this is great to apply on your spots and blemishes and just a great mask overall. It's a two-in-one. Speaking of spots, this little Origins gem here, it's the Super Spot Remover. I've absolutely been loving this. It kind of heals your blemishes in a very natural way without drying it out. So I've been absolutely finding this to be super effective and I've even introduced it to a few people and my boyfriend also uses it. So there we go. Another thing that came to me as a surprise was this Antonia Burrell Forest Juice Skin Conditioner. So um, that I received when I was buying my Antipodes range and um, it was a free sample. And these things are apparently usually really expensive because it is a rich and silky alcohol-free lotion that deeply hydrates, promoting quenched, healthy and glowing skin. Enriched with Swiss Alpine extracts, proven to balance sebum production and reduce large pores, while lavender flower water helps to calm and reduce redness. Skin is left smooth, soft, softened and radiant. So I spray like around apparently six pumps onto a cotton pad and you wipe it all over your face and you use it after cleansing. And then you follow up with your mask, serum, and or moisturizer. So I've been loving this thing. I'd call it a skin conditioner. But before I do all that, I firstly clean my skin with the Antipodes Juliet um, Skin Brightening Gel Cleanser. I've got um, combination oily, sensitive skin, um, sometimes a bit dry. So I find this has been really perfect in the morning and possibly at the end of the day as well. And it's got kiwi fruit, manuka honey, and Venanza Performance Plus, whatever that is. But I've loved it because it's got hibiscus flower as well. And this texture, it's red. I'll quickly show you guys. So it's like this. Um, and it smells absolutely amazing. It kind of smells a little bit like medicine, like cough syrup, but I still really love it. It's... Smells like strawberries, I guess, as well, and kiwi fruit. So I really love it. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about after cleansing my face, I will use the Hydraluron. And my friend Supreet introduced this to me. She actually bought one for me, and I loved it so much that I ended up buying another one. So this is my second one that I've gone through now. And this is just meant to retain the moisture and lock in whatever moisturizer that you put in. So I think Hydraluron's been a gem this, this, this past few months since I've been introduced to it. So I love this. So after I put my Hydraluron on, I either use the Hydraluron or I use this Apostle um, Skin Brightening and Tone Correcting Serum, um, or I use both of them. So this one, also smells like strawberries and kiwi fruit, but this is a water-based serum to help correct dull, blemished, or uneven skin whilst restoring essential moisture with Wewera Mineral Water, voted the world's best water, scientifically validated Venanza Performance Plus, helps minimize facial redness and melanin production, causing discoloration. Um, so it's meant to combat that stuff that I've just read out. 
exfoliating enzyme from the super kiwi and soothing oxyfend from red grapes leaves skin, gl leave skin gloriously glowing whilst mamaku black fern and reishi mushroom boost healthy cell renewal for true fresh face beauty. So, um, it's kind of like a, a little gel and um, it comes like this and you can see that the colouring is quite similar to the Juliet cleanser that I've mentioned over here and I just love these because it's just been, it's it's amazing, it's certified organic, it's 100% of ingredients from natural origin, 74% of ingredients from organic cultivation. So um, this may not be necessary but I've just been loving the smell, it calms me down and um, it's just worked wonders for my skin because I do have redness in the cheek area for those who know me um, and then that's followed up with the Antipodes Vanilla Pod Hydrating Day Cream and I have used so much of this it smells amazing it's just so therapeutic and calming and that's what I love about this whole range it's natural doesn't clog my pores this is probably like the first hydrating slightly more richer cream that has worked on my skin. So this is the Vanilla Pod um, Hydrating Day Cream with nutrient-rich avocado oil, Venanza grape and Manuka honey and I just love it so much. Just the key ingredient there is Manuka honey and it's just oh absolutely beautiful and I can't stress that enough. And then I've also followed, this has been a recent purchase, it's the Kiwi Seed Oil Eye Cream with nutrient-rich avocado oil, carrot oil, and venanza grape. So it's a cute little, um, if I compare the sizes, it's a cute little bottle. And again, these are like glass bottles, and I've used this much of it. This one you can actually get a lot of use out of. Like, I've been using this for a few weeks, and it's pretty much untouched, but I think this will go a long way, and it was well worth the money. So that's literally a quick skincare routine update. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I'll definitely be seeing you guys soon because I have finished up with my job and I'm getting ready to pack and go to London because I am relocating to London for two years and I'm super excited yet super scared but I know that this will be a great new chapter of my life and I can't wait to take you guys on this journey with me and um, I'm just so grateful for having you guys around as well. So I hope you guys have a good day. I will speak to you guys soon and keep your eyes peeled for any further updates. So see ya!